what is going on everybody this is jamie and welcome to the channel thrift on fire it's actually days like today that i typically just love being a full-time reseller sometimes you know there are things about it that can be a little bit of a burnout and repetitive but honestly the freedom to kind of pick up and do what you want sometimes is really rewarding as well so you know there's a little give and give and take in it and any type of employment but self-employment there's a lot more freedoms um today you know i i just kind of got a call or so like last night i got a text message from the owner of the antique mall in tilsburg and he had just said hey like one of the vendors dropped off a bunch of jerseys uh and this was right before they closed so it was later in the day so i'm like awesome i'll, I'll come in the morning and check them out so this is somebody who usually prices things really low enough there's enough meat on the bone that i can still make some pretty good money on a lot of these jerseys so i'm, I'm excited to see what's there uh usually he usually does bring a good amount like like up to 20 jerseys sometimes at a time not always i'm not expecting necessarily that many but you never know he, there's usually a good amount when he does bring them down um the other thing that's going on today is a 30 percent off sale at goodwill i normally wouldn't necessarily just go all the way for that but because i'm going to be in uh, my local town here of Tilsonburg, Ontario. Why not? I'm going to stop in. So 9 a.m. Goodwill opens. So I'll hit Goodwill first. Uh, the antique mall doesn't open until I think 10 a.m. So 10 a.m. we can hit that. Uh, in the meantime, I'm just going to go meet my wife out of town. We're going to go grab a quick breakfast. You know, it's been a pretty good morning. Uh, I got up early. I relisted about 10 items or reworked about 10 items on eBay and moved them from .ca to .com relisted them again on uh poshmark canada and poshmark us and depop definitely did some price adjusting some stuff is priced way too high for sure so hopefully that makes some sales and then later this afternoon i have to pull some orders um but you know all in all hopefully it'll be a really good friday Goodwill was indeed very good to me today. I spent $33. When I go home, I'll go through everything. I'll do a little haul and show you everything that I picked up at Goodwill. Spoiler alert, there were a couple jerseys in there too. One I'm sure is real. The other one is new with tags and I'm hoping it's real. I have to do a little more research on it, but I'll show you those. So we're gonna run into the antique mall. Fingers crossed we find some more really great jerseys, but uh, you know, we'll catch up after that and I'll show you everything that I do pick up once we get back home. The next day. All right, so I'm gonna show you everything I got. Let's start with this guy right here. I'll let you see this a little closer. There's, uh, I think that's Andy and there's Raggedy Ann, okay? This guy right here was $5.49, so I paid about $5.84, 30% off of uh, what they're calling their retail. There's one of these listed on eBay for $100. Uh, I don't think it's $100, worth $100 for sure. There's one that somebody's painted the little these little guys here. I'll try to throw that one up. I think it sold for about $24. I'm going to put this, I originally thought I was going to put this in my booth for probably between $15 to $30. So I'm expecting to get somewhere between there. And once again, I paid about $4.84 for this guy. Uh, whoever's got one listed for $100, I hope they get that on eBay. Uh, I don't really want to ship a mirror, so I'm going to put this in my antique booth. Next up, we have these pair of shoes. Now, these are a pair of ASIC uh, Gel Nubis 19, okay? Uh, normally, they cost, I'm just looking down my sheet here, they cost, would have cost $8.79, 30% off. I paid $6.15. I should be able to get about $40 out of these A6 right there. Next, I picked up this sweater. Okay, so the buy cost on this was, uh, well, it tells me we're gonna take $8.79. So 30% off would be, again, $6.15. Uh, I picked this one up because it's new with tags, okay? Here are the tags. Uh, the brand is Dynamite. Not, a, not really the best brand ever. And, I expect that this, this to sell on Poshmark, to be honest, new with tags. I did see a black similar, um, what is this called? Turtleneck or whatever, like this. 
sell for I think about $40. So I, I'm hoping to get about $40, but I would, I kind of expect this one to sell on Poshmark, to be honest. Next, I found a pair of uh, pants. Now these are Nike golf pants, okay? Says uh, on one of the sides here, right there. If I get really close, it should say Nike golf. It's got the elastic kind of band. They're size 32. Uh, the bottoms are in great condition. So pants are a bit expensive and I usually only buy them on sale, like half off or sale days. So this was again, 30% off, $9.79. So I paid $6.85. I think I should be able to get about $40 out of these Nike golf pants. Picked up this Toronto Blue Jays t-shirt. This will most likely go in my antique booth. Okay, uh, shirts at my Goodwill are $4.79. So I'm going to pay uh, $3.35. It's Jordan Romano. It's actually, I have this exact shirt in my size. This one's only, I think, a medium. I haven't even looked it up to see what it sells for online, but it's a, the 2002 All-Star Game. I'll probably try to get maybe $10 to $15 out of the booth for this shirt. You know, Jordan Romano is a uh, is Canadian from Toronto. Um, so I'm hoping somebody local would like this shirt. You know, most Jays fans probably would. That's a really cool one couple of jerseys here okay Toronto Raptors jersey uh DeRosa is that how you say this guy's name I don't think he's a current Raptor I could be wrong I don't really watch basketball that often to be honest uh, again this was only four dollars 79 cents 30 percent off so I paid three dollars and 35 cents for this this one pretty sure it's authentic I might wind up throwing it in my booth anyway because it'll likely sell there for maybe like 25 or 30 uh, it's only worth about 30 online anyway. Not super valuable, but for $3 and change, I'm going to pick it up. Now, this is the one that I'm not sure if it's real or not. It looks good. Uh, it's a Toontown, so Space Jam, right? Is, is it the Toon Squad? My apologies. Uh, it is Champion. It's got the little, the little uh, Champion stitching here. Taz. Okay. This The only thing that I don't like is this tag looks a little cheap. So it makes me wonder, okay? I will look up a little bit better if, it, I don't know, just to make sure that I think it's authentic because it is new with tags. It's a little dirty on the back too. Probably can't see there, but the rest of it looks pretty good, you know? I don't know. What do you guys think? Real, fake? I'm not sure. I kind of am leaning towards real, but I'm honestly not too sure. This tag too just says made in Korea uh size large authentic champion i don't really know i will show you the tag just to so you can see i'll look look this one up do a little more research just blank on the back um but i thought this was pretty cool to be sitting there they, they must have just threw this out when the sales started but taz really cool jersey let me reset and i'll show you the jerseys i picked up at the antique market so with the goodwill stuff 33 dollars into potentially 200 plus that's pretty good uh, here I'm paying more money. I paid $120 plus HST for these jerseys. I'll tell you kind of uh, what I expect to get for them. I got similar comps for most, if not the exact comps. There's a couple that I'm, I can't find comps at all for. But this is a Patrick Kane jersey right here. It is Reebok. It's on the Reebok tag. Uh, it, it does have the fight strap as well. Um, right there. And this one is all stitched. Size, I believe this is bigger. 54. Big jersey. This one... I paid $25. This is the most I paid for any jersey there. And I expect to get about $80 on this one. Next up, we have this Detroit Red Wings jersey. A lot less for this one, $15. The, the emblem is not stitched, okay? Um, has a few little stains, but it is overall in pretty nice condition. You know, I'm kind of expecting to get around $50 on this particular jersey. It is a size, uh, they're all good sizes. This one is a size XL. So any Red Wing, whoops, any Red Wing fans out there? Next, I don't really remember this one. This is a stadium giveaway. So it's on the Toronto Blue Jays tag here. Okay, uh, it's, it was a Rogers giveaway. It's a retro shirt. It's Joe Carter. I said, I don't remember seeing this one or when this was from exactly. I'll have to do a little more research. Um, I don't actually even see one listed or sold or anything. Actually, I do see one listed, but they, they listed it like it's authentic and it's like, almost $200 or something crazy. Uh, I'm gonna actually just keep this one and wear it for a bit, maybe sell it down the road. But these these type of jerseys, usually you get like 40 or 50 bucks for it. I paid $15.
Next, I can't find, whoops, I have two jerseys in my hand here. I can't find a comp for this one here. Just trying to see what I paid for it again. So $20 for this. This is uh, Sarnia Sting. It's an OHL jersey, okay? Number five. I'm not going to try to pronounce this guy's last name, but that's it right there. I uh, haven't looked up to see if he's an active player in the NHL. There's jerseys he, that he has uh, sold that were autographed um, for $500. I don't see an exact one like this, but I'm going to assume that I'm going to get around 100 bucks for this one. I do think it's a really nice jersey. OHL, jer OHL jerseys do do really well. I'll try to look up if he's actively an NHL player. I'll throw that on the screen too, but I don't really know to be honest. All right, we have a Buffalo jersey. This is the other one I had in my hand a minute ago. If I can hold it up right. Uh, it's got a different logo on it than I'm used to. I think I've sold uh, one new tags with that logo before actually, but um, it's not your typical Buffalo jersey unless, unless they've went, have they went to that logo? I don't think so though. Uh, maybe it's just an alternate logo. Anyway, size X XL, it's on a Reebok here. Probably 30, 50 bucks for this guy. I paid also, what did I pay for this one? Uh, it looks like I paid about $15 for the jersey. So, you know, still room to make a little bit of money. Toronto Maple Leafs jersey here. This is a, a CCM jersey. I think I'm going to get about 50 bucks out of this one roughly. It's got some stains that I need to clean up here in this bottom corner. Uh, it's a cool jersey though. It's big. Uh, size, what size are you? 2XL. Yeah, so a big, big jersey. Needs a little bit of cleaning up, but probably 50 bucks on this uh, Leafs jersey right there. This last one, I don't really have a comp that I can show you for it. I paid $15 for it as well. It is CCM size medium. It's one of the smaller ones. I still think I'll be able to get about 40, 40 or 50 bucks for it. I might wind up throwing this one in the booth. Um, sometimes just when you don't have, this is like a, a vinyl front or vinyl um, logo. They don't always do as well. The, the stitched ones definitely do much better, but it's still a pretty nice jersey. 15 bucks, hopefully turn it into like, like I said, 40 or 50 on this as well. So obviously you have to pay up a little bit more of the antique booth for jerseys, but I don't mind paying usually up to about 20 bucks. I say that quite often, but that's usually at $20, you're still gonna make enough profit on, profit on most jerseys so that it's worth it for me. Anyway, you know, I'm valuing my 120 buy cost plus HST, so I had to pay HST on top of that. Um, I'm valuing around maybe $350, 400 in potential gross profit. Obviously there's fees and I have to take away the cost of goods, but still there's, you can tell there's still enough money there that it's worth my time. Uh, some of these jerseys do require a little bit of cleanup, but I'm definitely okay with that. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you do like videos like this, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing for more content and we'll see you guys soon.